Hello, it's Jessica, and thanks so much for joining me today for my February Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. I started off with a Whisper White card base and a Very Vanilla, and but I end up using more. And I've got some scrap pieces of paper for my first card. And there is the stamp set that came with the kit. And I've got the adhesives. And I also used Tombow glue. And um, I got some of my old paper pumpkin ink spots out as well. And then I got the Sahara Sand and my Versamark Black. This is the linen thread. And this is some chocolate um, ribbon I picked up at Walmart. And I did not end up using that um, for these projects. But I show it here because it's a great deal. It's just a dollar. The kit came with these little tiny pearls and I found some. So I used those for these projects. Okay, so I start by cutting the envelope. And I'm wanting little tiny strips. And I don't have the measurements for those. Um, it's two and a quarter inches tall. And I varied the width of them, and I'm using Berry Burst cardstock there. And this is, um, I think, Sahara Sand that came with the January kit. It looked a little darker to me. I went ahead and inked the edges of the Berry Burst using um, Berry Burst ink, and then I did the Sahara Sand piece as well. And then I did the uh, pattern cardstock paper that came in the kit. And I'm using my Tombow glue here to um, adhere the little strips down to the card. And then I decided to take the little piece that was left over from the envelope and um, adhere that as well. Instead of cutting it, I just folded the little flaps over because it won't show um, once I mount that to the card base. So this is a nice size thank you sentiment and I used white embossing powder and embossed that on Sahara sand. And then I wrapped the, the end of that with some linen thread and tied a bow. And then I used dimensionals to adhere that to the card base. And I'd also placed that little yellow daisy sticker on a scallop circle. Now, um, I went ahead and used some pearls here. Don't know if I like that look or not, but I went ahead and left them. And here is the completed card. Here is another card that I was able to get finished and um, I'll post the photos of all my projects on my blog, um, but I was not able to include that in this film. Okay, so now I wanna use the garden green and really this little ink spot is too small to use a brayer, but I decided I would try it anyway. And um, so what I did to get a, a smooth look is after I had applied the ink, I uh, just took a brush and some water um, to get a smoother look. And I like how it turned out in the end. So I did include that um, in the video. Now these are some banner dies that I have in them. They came from AliExpress. And there's what the cardstock looks like. Now I didn't end up using these little banners for this card. Um, I took them off, but I did use it for the next one. I stamped the corners, the bottom corners, using the Garden Green ink, and then I stamped the sentiment also. And I layered that on some black cardstock and um, adhered three of the pearls uh, to finish off this card. And um, I really like that sentiment. 
Okay, now here I'm using Garden Green and Island Indigo. And um, this is a very pretty color. I didn't know because um, this is the first time I've used Island Indigo. I was using some Whisper White ink to try to blend those two together. Um, and I didn't show most of this card, um, keeping this video shorter. But there's the finished card. So this one was my favorite card, and I actually brayered those um, cardstock panels again. And I haven't actually went over with the brush yet, but I'm cutting them down into strips. Um, I believe it was one and a quarter inch by four and a quarter. And I had embossed that also, and I didn't show that either. I um, embossed the with white embossing powder on black. Okay, and I'm going to adhere these down onto a black card base. And I did show all of these stamping. Um, I'm using the flower, one of the flower stamps and using the same color of ink and just um, stamping the pattern down onto each of the strips of paper. And I decided to just do the bottom portion. And this color is Berry Burst. And I'm just randomly stamping using the same stamp. And the blue is Island Indigo. And I'm doing the same thing um, with this strip of paper. Okay, so real quick, I don't think that after March I will be a Stamping Up demonstrator. Um, I don't have enough sales to um, continue being a demonstrator. Right now, I do plan on um, keeping my Paper Pumpkin subscription and continuing to post these projects each month. Um, I can't actually sell the Paper Pumpkins though, but um, I really enjoy them and um, I, I do love stamping up products. So um, back to the card, I think I had gotten this Baker's Twine from Walmart. So I just wrapped that around the card and um, I included the little vellum banner, which was in the kit. Um, and I just used some Tombow glue to adhere that. You can kind of see it there. And I added some of the pearls there, different sizes. And here is the final card. I'm using very vanilla here. It's pretty simple. Decided to go ahead and stamp using the garden green since it came with the kit. Now I'm using this new embossing folder that is in the occasions catalog. And um, I'm showing this here. If you do not spritz your paper with water, it is likely to tear. Um, and so I didn't do that and it tore up my Sahara sand. And so I actually spritzed it with some shimmery water and um, you can't see it on the camera, but it is really, really pretty. So you may want to try that with your very vanilla. Okay, so I had die cut the embossed card stock using that outside stitched rectangle die and I'm using a stamping platform to um, stamp the sentiment here and I'm going to go ahead and die cut this as well and then I inlaid the stamped panel back into the embossed panel and then I added these two little banners and a gold sequin as well and there is the finished card in the end of this video. So thanks so much for um, watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos.